Good morning, friends and family near and far. It is I and I once again, Wasi. All right, I'm here with a uh, a quick little repair tip. Right, this is just a um, I guess a repair tip for those that are in the technical field. You know, whether you tinker with electronics or you fix anything. All right, we got a um, what is this? This is a uh, QSC Powerlight 1.8 on the bench. Customer complained, said that it's getting hot, turning off, whatever, right? So um, I'm going to tell you what's going on with this exactly pretty quick. I was about to take it apart. You see, I already started taking the screws out. I was going to take out the whole board, but I just decided to make a quick, quick, quick video, right? All right, I got um, this little handy-dandy device here. It's the LTO Quest by Leopold. It's basically like a, a thermal sensor. Or a thermal imager, you know, whatever you want to call it. But um, I'm I'm good for using devices from different um, industries, you know, to get my job done. Because I like to look at things that are, you know, that have to do with like, believe it or not, like aquariums, you know, like fish tanks. I deal with stuff that are applicable to that industry, and I use it on electronics and you know the automotive industry so basically i guess what i'm trying to say is you could use things from different environments to get the job done so real quick let me show you what's going on the amp comes on it turns on it looks normal right flick the switch it goes out of protect goes on to power this is normal operation and the amplifier will actually play it'll play both channels no problem but as you leave it on it's going to start to you know i guess uh demonstrate its issue it's going to overheat, turn off, right? So let me fire up my little thermal imager, imager here. You can get these on Amazon. You know, I guess they're not that cheap, but they work pretty well. So as the amplifier is sitting on, right? I'm going to try to hold this and show you what I'm doing. Okay, you can see I'm going to go down the line. It's not very clear, but you can see the uh, capacitors. See, those are four caps. You see those four dark circles? Those are the four caps right there, right? Then as I go down, you're gonna see like three, this wire is kind of in the way, but you can see like the three circles or four circles. Those, those are the other four caps. Then I go down to the next bank, which is the next bank of four caps, right? You see one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You notice that bright white light and the red rim around it? That's excessive heat. That tells me it's get, that, that cap is getting hot for some reason. So that right there tells me that's where my problem is. What's going on is these caps are bad and they're drawing too much current. Let me go ahead and turn this thing off before it overheats too much. But even with the power off, you're still going to be able to see the heat. So once again, right, you got four caps uh, configured in like a square. Then you got an additional four. Then you have an additional four right here where that second bank of four is that's where the problem is so watch it on the thermal um, thermal imager right you got the first four first four caps then you got the four you know that's lined up side by side almost you see those then you have the other bank of four you see how that one uh toward the top right it's got a lot of white light around it and it's got a red rim that means that cap is extremely hot and that tells me right there that these this bank of caps right here, they probably have issues. So I'm going to show you also, not by just a thermal imager, but I'm going to take the phone and send it down there. And then you can actually see what I'm talking about. But this is just a quick way to see where you're getting heat from, right? I'm going to go over the heat sink. All right. As I'm going over the heat sink, you could kind of see... Well, I guess it's not really showing up that much. The heat sink hasn't stayed on. It hasn't stayed on long enough to really start to show that the heat sink is getting red. When it stays on long enough, that heat sink will start to get red. You know what I mean? And that way you could tell what the problem is. But once again, we'll go back to those caps. And right there, that bank of cap is getting is, is very hot. You notice how the light, the white around it is slowly getting smaller and smaller. That's because it's, it's starting to cool down a little bit. All right, so let me show you with the actual phone. If you could actually see, let me get a light. But um, if you look right there, you can kind of see on the bottom of that cap, you see where it's dark? The cap exploded, but it exploded from the bottom. This is another little tricky repair because normally 
when the caps go bad, they'll blow up from the top. You see this little this little uh, cross here? That's for expansion. So if this, the cap overheats or swells, you'll see these like raise up. They'll bubble up. But they all look perfectly fine. You know what I mean? So this is a little tricky one. But if you look at the bottom right down there, you see? Let's try to move this way. Right here. You see where that dark, dark discoloration is? And it's over here too. That's where the caps exploded. So all four of these caps have to get changed, right? Got the replacement caps right here. You know, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get that job knocked out. And once these caps are changed, I don't think they shorted anything out and, and damaged it. So once these caps are changed, we should be good to go. All right, just wanted to drop in and give you a little quick tip. You want to grab one of these Leopold LTO Quest thermal linen imagers. You can use it for a lot of other things. Like if I put it right here, you can see my fingers. You know what I mean? So if you want to check heat, you know, you think you got a, a rat in your wall or something. <laughs> or whatever you want to do, man. Just um, be like me. Use things from different industries to get the job done or whatever. All right. So try that out. It's me, Wasi, once again. Over and out, man. Hope y'all have a good day. And we'll link up next time. We're in the lab once again. Peace.